Welcome guys, this is Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner. I'm at it again. I'm trying this Cricut Joy. I'm telling myself the more I use it, the more I mess up, the better I'll get at it. On my previous Cricut Joy video, I created these three beautiful Christmas cards. So I'll be using my Android phone. I already have the Cricut Joy app downloaded on my phone. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on that app. So next you're going to scroll down to insert cards, hit browse, and then you could select whichever card you would like. I am going to put Christmas in the search bar and just select one of those cards. This is just for demonstration purposes. On the previous video, I already created the outside of the card. So now we're going to create the inside of the card. They're going to say choose card size and then I'm going to hit next. And then instead of hitting front, I'm going to hit inside. So I'm going to tap on the screen and it's going to reveal the outline of that card layer. So next I'll be maneuvering the bar down below to get my images and text. So on the right have a painter's palette where it displays the pen. So on the left you're going to hit that plus sign to get your images and text. So starting on the very left, the arrow with the bracket over is to upload SVG. You X out. Then you have the hot balloon sign that gets you your images. You X that out when you're done. You add, hit the plus sign again, then you have your shapes, and then you select your shapes, you X out, and then you hit the plus sign again, then we hit text messaging. So I'm going to X out of the text section and go back to images. I'm going to go and hit the plus sign and hit the air balloon, and I'm going to select an image that I would like. So once I find the image I would like, I'm going to hit on that box then hit the check mark. So I selected this cute image with all the doggies shaped like a Christmas tree. On each corner you have green symbols that represent different commands. So to the right lower corner I'm going to pull those arrows to resize my image. So you have the height and the width listed right down below. So once I resize my image I'm going to place it more to the top so I could have space to the bottom to type in my sentiment. Then I'm going to hit outside the box. And I'm going to hit the plus sign. Then I'm ready to hit the text message sign. Once you hit the text message sign, a rectangle box would show up. And mine is hidden within those puppies. So once that comes up, you see all your commands. Next we hit in that capital A, which brings us to a section where we could select the type font we would like and even align the sentiment. Next, I would hit the um, check mark and then I'm going to bring my box down and make that a little wider and then I hit inside the box so my um, type in pad could come up then I'm going to go ahead and type in the sentiment that I would like also you want to erase that word that says text I'm going to erase it here in the end so you just type in your sentiment and then you're going to resize it down. I'm going to get a warning sign that's going to tell me that my words are larger than my actual card layer. So I'm going to resize that down, erase the word text. When I'm done, I'm going to cut down my um, layer to 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 so I want to make sure I have enough border around my sentiment and image so I could cut that down. Adding that extra layer inside your card give your card a better look and feel. And then once you have your text that you would like and you center it, so what I'm going to hit is done. And there you have it. They're showing you a preview of how it looks. Then you're going to hit next. This section, you're going to look it over and make sure you have the correct format, the correct pen, etc. Then you're going to hit next. And then it's going to search for your Joy Cricut machine. Then it's connecting to the Joy Cricut. So it's going to give me a prompt on what to do next. In this case, it's telling me to prepare my cardstock. So I'm going to add the layer on the Cricut Joy card mat. So I'm going to take off that clear dust mat and my card layer is measuring four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to layer that up, stick that down right to that outline. It has three different sizes. I thought it was two sizes, but it has three sizes. 
it has a smaller size than that and then there's a larger size than the one that i'm using so you want to squeeze that down so you could stick down nicely to the um, sticky pad especially to the top and then what you're going to do is go ahead and feed it through so then the machine is going to analyze what size paper you have the measurements that i'm using are in inches and then it's giving me a prompt to go ahead and insert my pen so i'm going to click over that blue lever and add my pen close the lever and then i'm going to hit go on the phone then the machine is going to do its thing i love that the cricut joy i could easily incorporate it with my card making craft so i do a lot of stamping and this would be so cool especially if you don't have the sentiment in your stamp sets and you could create whatever sentiment you want you may not have an image in your stamp set and you could go ahead and print or upload an image so I like this so this is pretty cool I think the Cricut Joy is something that um, is nice to incorporate for card makers and I can't wait to discover other things that I could do with my Cricut Joy maker so stick with me guys to the end I'm going to show you two other card layers that I created for the inside of the card so if you guys are new to my channel you like what you see here please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos so in my previous Cricut video, I only had one Cricut pen, which was the black one that came with the machine. So since then, I invested in two sets of the Cricut Joy pens. One set was in the glitter pens and the glitter gel pen, and they come in 0 0.8 tip. And so I got the silver, the gold, and the black. And then I got... Um, the other set came in red, green, and purple, and those were 0 0.4 fine point tips. So now our project is complete. It's going to prompt us to unload the mat. So once we hit unload, then we're able to pull that mat out without causing any damage. And then we're going to take the cardstock off of the mat. And it comes out a little curl, so you could really uncurl it. And it's slightly sticky to the back. But you're going to adhere to your the um, base of your card anyhow, so that's not a big deal. Look how pretty this came out. What you guys think? If you like this, go ahead and smash that like button down below. That would be greatly appreciated. So let me share with you the other two insert that I created. I use the gold um, gel pen in one and then the green pen. The green was a little li um, light, but this is my practice, okay? So I just did an image that says hope, love, and peace with the green, and look at the gingy I did in that gold pen. I hope you guys got creative value from today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Claudette, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.